State lawmakers will meet today to discuss the impact of UT leaving the Big 12 Conference for the SEC, with university officials saying it's the right decision for the future. The switch is not supposed to take effect until 2025, but some are concerned the move could happen sooner. John Crenjack joins us live in the studio this morning to explain. Good morning, John. Leslie, good morning to you. Yeah, the Select Committee on the Future of College Sports in Texas, meaning for its first time today after UT and Oklahoma both announced on Friday they're headed to the SEC. The goal of the hearing today to look at the athletic and economic effect of UT's decision to leave the Big 12 on Texas communities and schools, specifically other schools that remain in the Big 12. The 14-member committee was formed by Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick and consists of 11 Republicans and three Democrats. It's chaired by Senator Jane Nelson of Flower Mound, and all of the members represent areas that will be affected by UT's decision to move to the SEC, places like Waco, Lubbock, and Fort Worth. University of Texas officials say this was a well-thought-out decision, despite it coming about rather quickly, helping to entice both schools' lucrative financial benefits from the SEC, although UT's President Jay Hartzell says this is about more than just money. While well, our university has enjoyed over 25 years in the Big 12 Conference, we recognize that we must be willing to make changes with our eyes on the future. We looked at conferences across the country and concluded that the SEC is the best fit for our future. The reasons are many. The stability and strength of the league and its leadership, the level of visibility for our student athletes, some of the toughest athletic competition, and exciting stadiums that are similar in capacity and attendance to ours. Now Hartzell says he's pleased that Texas will be able to rekindle rivalries with Texas A&M and Arkansas, and he's glad UT and OU will still have their big showdown at the Cotton Bowl in Texas. Now the move to the SEC not supposed to happen until 2025 when the school's agreement with the Big 12 expires, but there is already speculation they might exit the Big 12 sooner, a scenario that's not without precedent. For example, both Texas A&M and Missouri were accepted into the SEC in 2011 and started playing there a year later. What they could be looking at in the next couple of months is potentially a buyout. So if they were to leave uh, two years early, they'd have to pay back basically what they would have made in two years of the Big 12 could be close to $80 million. And we asked you on Twitter, do you think UT's move to the SEC will have a positive or negative impact on the state of Texas? Uh, here are the results. 46% of you so far think it'll have a positive impact. Uh, about 23% say a negative impact, and about 31% say you don't think it'll have much impact at all. When this move is complete, whether it's in 2025 or sooner, it'll make the SEC the first 16-team super conference. As for the committee hearing on all this, gets underway at 1 o'clock this afternoon.